Hello, welcome, dear spiritual family. Thank you for being with me. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and I am a certified angel therapist and holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of March 13, 2016. So thank you all for being with me. We are now in daylight savings time, and the days are getting longer as we move into the warm weather which I'm excited about, so I can be outside and, and just take in the flowers and all the wonderful things that summertime, spring and summertime brings. And for those of you who celebrate St. Patrick's Day, well, have a happy one. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's fun and safe for you. So to all my Irish brothers and sisters out there, so enjoy. So I... Uh, I'm going to select one card from three different decks and then a prayer card from Archangel Michael. I had already called upon God and the Ascendant Masters to be with me, so because of power of intention and law of attraction, I cannot select the wrong card. And I'm going to begin this week's first card. I'm going to shuffle the Angel Tower of Cards and we'll see what the first card is for the week. Hope you had a good week last week. We had some beautiful weather uh, where I am, which is delightful. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed uh, your week and saw your blessings as much as I did. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And our first card is the Three of Earth. And it, the card reads, The power of creativity. Recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. Okay. <laughs> We all have a sense of being creative. You know, some of us are creative in the kitchen, <laughs> cooking. Some of us are creative in, in making furniture or just creative ideas to make things work better in your workplace. Whatever it is, it seems like we're going to be given that, that power this week so we can tap into it. Uh, and that gift. <laughs> That gift of creativity that we have is going to be recognized. So that's wonderful. But we always want to be a team player. We don't want to uh, stand out. Because believe me, with your power and being in a team, you're going to stand out anyway. We don't want to shun everybody out. You know, some of the most successful people, or probably all the successful people, have a team behind them. So we need that. This way you can throw off creative ideas here and there. You know, talk to, uh, it doesn't have to be a team actually in work. It could be a team family members, your wife or your husband, your sister, or your brother, your friend. You know, anything that brings that creative juices that are going. You know, sometimes we hear or see something and it sets off uh, a new idea. We get an idea from it, you know. And these, this is God's way of sending these messages to us to kickstart <laughs> our success in, in this way. So make sure you be a team player. Don't make it all about me, myself, and I. You know, give credit where credit's due. Don't be afraid to do that because people are going to look up to you for that. The important people are going to look up for you for that. And you will be recognized for high quality work. <laughs> so the love cards are next. The whisper of love cards. And we'll see what the love angels have to say as I shuffle. You know, and I think a lot of this has to do with, as we're going into spring and uh, springtime, we could have new ideas for sprucing up our home or just sprucing up our wardrobe or sprucing up our diet. <laughs> you know, it's new time of new birth and new things, new beginnings for things to happen. So I hope uh, you really take advantage of that, of that God-given gift. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to cut the deck and we'll see what our love card for the week is. 
and it is Have Faith. And the card reads, trust your faith in this situation. Whoever you're going through in your love relationship or any relationship that deals with loving someone or loving something, have faith in it that everything is going to work out. If you're looking for a relationship, have faith that it's going to come to you. And stay excited that it is. Uh, if you're already in a relationship and maybe you're struggling have faith in that, that, that you're going to be guided and to make things stronger and more powerful. If you're in a relationship or anything and you're looking to maybe buy a home together, have faith that it's going to come for you. So anything that you're going to do to love with someone, you know, especially loving yourself, have faith that things are going to turn around. It's very strong and very powerful when we do that. And it's being in the knowing. Is having that faith so it's real that's really I like that card <laughs> and the next of the cards I was guided to use these is the life purpose cards and we'll see what our third card for the week is okay let's cut the deck Speaker. The card is speaker. And it says your life purpose involves your skills in oration. I think skills in speaking is always good. And you know, um, when we speak kind words, when we speak thoughtful words, when we speak with the intent of love is always good. So be very careful how you use your words. And this might come with the part of having faith. You know, whatever we think, say, and do out to the universe, we manifest. So we want to think and have that faith. We want to speak wonderful words. You know, when you find fault with someone or call them a name. And it's, it's very disturbing to me uh, now with the election coming up it, that people post really negative, hateful things about the 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 opponents that they don't like you know and they post these terrible videos and these pictures and things on um, on the Facebook and on the internet and it's very disturbing to me they're just creating more hatred and we don't need to do that you know we need to trust have faith <laughs> that the right person will <laughs> become president and so speaking, careful what you speak, what you present out there. It's may not all be verbally, it's just what you write, what you say. There's anything that comes speaking in words, writing, talking, expressing. So be very careful because that's what we're going to draw. So the angels are saying focus on what you say. Be careful, be loving, be thoughtful of that. And now don't spread hate. Please don't do that. So I really can't wait till the election's over. <laughs> I'm really tired of, of seeing this, you know, people calling people names and things like that. I just don't like it one bit. Okay. So that's our reading for this week. And now I'm going to select a prayer card from Archangel Michael. I think people should just post the positive things of the candidate that they want and share that and not find fault with the other ones. But I understand the passions that people have for their candidates. And I understand that it's ego. But it's not good. Okay, this card wouldn't go in a deck. This is the one I'm going to use. <gasps> Perfect springtime prayer from Archangel Michael. It says, new beginnings and fresh start. Perfect. And the prayer reads, Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. So new beginnings, being creative, 
recognizing hard work, being a team player, have faith and speak well. Might even with your creativity, being a team player, being a leader, speak well with that. You know, your teammates, even your your significant others or family members, speak well. Give them, say, you know what, you're doing a really good job. I'm really proud of you. I love you. Say these wonderful things for encouragement. And, you know, when we speak that way and be like that, a lot of people want to be around us and help us <laughs> when we're like that, when you show appreciation for others. So it's a great, uh, great uh, reading this week and a great prayer for that. So thank you all for being with me. I invite you to visit my website at cindyshealing.com. There you'll see everything that I do. And maybe you'd want to have a, a healing session with me, angel healing session with me for an hour. It's very affordable. You just pick the price that's in your budget and we can connect. Also, if you're looking to heal someone who's not feeling well, or even you, maybe you'd be interested in a distant uh, Reiki session which means I do not have to be right there with you, but you, it's I send distant healing for you. And if you want more information about that, you, know, you can contact with me uh, and I'll, I'll talk to you about it. Or send me an email, <laughs> whatever, whatever you like. And of course, if you're in the area and you're getting married, you need a wedding officiant, I'd be more than happy to, to assist you with your wedding. And, uh, and so I hope you take advantage of that. And of course, the other things that I do. So... Uh, on Wednesday night, also, you can join me for my live chat, and uh, which I host every Wednesday night, and get a free reading from me. It's uh, in the middle of the week, so it helps us get over the hump. You will connect with like-minded people. If you need a prayer or, or encouragement or enlightenment, you're going to get it. And you can share your wisdom. Maybe somebody else there that needs it. You can share your wisdom. Maybe it's something that you have went through and you can share with them and help them through that time. It's a fun night. It's a nice night. And uh, the regulars that come every week. And I hope you can you can join me in as well. And I forgot to mention, connect with me through my social media sites if you like. So have a wonderful, wonderful week. And uh, we're coming close to, to the first day of spring. And that's when I'll see you next. <laughs> so enjoy your week and, and be blessed. And know you are powerful when you're in the knowing. When you have God, the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you're powerful. There's no stopping you. So until next time, I send you lots of love and blessings. God bless you. And I wish you all namaste. Thank you for your love and support. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.